It was a special day at Merriweather Farm, and Farmer Stubble wanted everything ready. So did Mrs. Stubble. Have you got a clean shirt? Shall I bake a special cake? How long till they get here? Someone or something very important was about to arrive. was on his way to Merriweather Farm as well. But where was Doug? Why wasn't he with Dig today? Farmer Stubble was beginning to wonder how long he'd have to wait. Hello, Farmer Stubble! Farmer Stubble was in quite a state. Where is it then? Has something happened to it? And where's Doug? Don't worry, everything's fine. Oh, where are you going now? To leave the truck out here. Be a bit of a squash in the yard otherwise. Farmer Stubble was about to remind Dig that the farm was on a hill and to be careful how he parked when he heard a noise. Oh, is it? Could it be? Hello, Farmer Stubble. We're here. Farmer Stubble could hardly believe his eyes. My new, my very new and very own tractor. So, what do you think? Oh, yes. Oh, it is. Don't you think? I do. Quite definitely. Show him some of the tractor's clever bits, said Dig, who was back from parking the truck. Doug pointed out the very small wheels at the front for steering, and the very big wheels on the back so the tractor didn't get stuck in the mud, and the hook behind for attaching things to. And then came Farmer Stubble's big moment. Go on then, Farmer Stubble, shouted Doug. Start her up. Now, try forwards. OK, stop her there. But the tractor didn't. Stop! Stop! shouted Dig and Doug. I can't find the brake! It's the pedal on the floor! shouted Doug. Tea, anyone? My special cake's nearly baked. And just in the nick of time. Very nice, dear. But must you park it so near to the house? As they were going in for tea, Dig was telling Farmer Stubble how important brakes were. The thing about brakes is, they're very important. Then they heard the most terrible noise. Funny, said Doug. I could see our truck from here just now. Where's it gone? You know what I was telling Farmer Stubble about brakes, Doug? Said Dig. Doug nodded. Well... I think I know where our truck might be. Oh, dear. Dig had left the handbrake off and the truck had rolled down the hill and into a ditch. Best get it out, is what I reckon, said Farmer Stubble. But it won't be easy, cos it's wet and muddy. Start her up, Dig, said Doug. Give her plenty of revs. It was no good. The wheels were skidding. You push. I'll drive this time, said Doug. Right, said Dig. Still, it was no good. The truck simply wouldn't budge. Hello, Uncle Doug, called Daisy, coming up the hill. 
But as she got nearer, she found it very difficult not to laugh. What are you smiling at? Yes, what are you smiling at? You, said Daisy. Suddenly, Dig saw Doug's face. Look at the state of you! And Doug saw Dig's face. Well, look at the state of you! And when they explained what had happened, and how it all began with them delivering the new tractor to Farmer Stubble, and what they now needed was a very strong something on wheels that had a hook on the back, Daisy came up with a plan. Back at the farm, as Mrs Stubble was polishing the tractor, she accidentally started the engine. Mildred, are you all right? Ernest, what are you doing here? She asked. Dig and Doug have got their truck stuck in the ditch, he told her. Well, mind you, don't get it dirty, she called, and went inside to finish baking her special cake. See you later. Daisy watched as they began to put her plan into action. But something was missing. I know. We need something to tow it out with. How about some rope, said Daisy suddenly. Rope, of course, said Dig. So Doug went to see if he had any. Oh, good. And luckily, he did. He tied one end to the tractor's special hook and the other end onto the truck. At last, they were ready. The big question now was, would it work? Ready, Doug? said Dig. Ready, Dig? said Doug. Everyone held their breath as the tractor began to pull. Never mind, said Doug. I'll fix that later. Let's try again. So they did. And while Farmer Stubble took a turn in the tractor, Dig tied the rope to the truck and Doug stood back to see what would happen. That's it! Dig shouted to Farmer Stubble. She's out now! And the three men congratulated themselves on doing such a good job. Daisy smiled. She knew it was really her idea, but she didn't say anything. That was clever, Uncle Doug, she said. How do you manage to have such good ideas? They all went back to Merriweather Farm, where Mrs Stubble was waiting with her special cake. Everyone admired it. She told them it was the most dangerous cake she'd ever made. Whatever could she mean? Mrs. Stubble smiled. I forgot to put any brakes on it, she said. So you'd better eat it before it runs away. Mm -hmm.